I found this brand that I thought looked quite similar to Phoebe Philo and just got me thinking about what's going to happen with the new Celine's out there. It's called um, Katie. Is that how you pronounce it? Kathy or Katie. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name of it. But um, I just found it because they've just released their pre-4 2020 collections. I always, I quite like pre-4. I know it got a bit of a bad rap. And I know most designers probably are fed up with pre-4 because it just adds more work to their schedule of their already, you know, hectic schedule. If you're a fashion designer, you're essentially designing, what, six collections a year or some shit, not including all the collaboration, all the personal branding and kind of white label stuff that you might do on the side. But um, I like this brand, man. It reminds me a lot of the heady days of Phoebe Philo at Celine. Again, there's a lot of kind of brands out there trying to fill that gap since Phoebe Philo um, essentially took a step back from fashion. So I'm interested to see where, what goes on there. But I'm, I'm a big fan of this brand. And there's also another brand, I think, Prenz and Shula, that had another one, another little book that looked quite similar to Phoebe Philo. Celine, but I just wanted to quickly go through this and show you what I thought was cool about it. They've got a little review here from a lady called Emily Farah on Vogue. It says the following that poplin button down and crystal embellished real teal dress can both be recognizable katie and pretty remarkable katie holstein who started her label quietly three years ago wow three years ago mostly jeans and sweaters chokes it up to katie being a more about feeling than just a single item which i love i love those kind of brands i, I kind of feel that with the, our legacy now and even acne is the same sort of thing it's less about you know acne started off as a jeans company and now they've kind of morphed into this behemoth magazines consultancy just all around bad boy uh, label and you get the feeling like acne just goes in completely different like no two collections are ever the same they all go completely different directions similar to like a, maybe a jw anderson or even stuff that he does on like the sort of got a similar sort of vibe it's got a feeling towards it i feel very you know there's something tangible that you can kind of feel in your hands i love that sort of thing instead of it being just it's like when rick owens described how he makes he makes clothes he just puts fabrics on models and just kind of basically forms it around that there's less sketching. It doesn't, really, it does, it doesn't illustrate at all, he said, right? There's no illustration. It's all about feeling. It's all about touching and moving stuff around and, you know, practicality and stuff and all that malarkey, which I'm a big fan of. Um, so, yeah, three years ago. So, big up this woman, man, um, Kate Holstein. or oh, Kat Holstein. Amazing, man. Uh, chalks up to Katie being more than a feeling, than a single item. You know a cashmere sweater is Katie thanks to its plush texture and rounded sleeves. Sorry, rounded sleeves, sleeves. <laughs> a silk blouse, obviously, Katie, because of his deep cut and strong shoulders that tulle dress is kt because it's made out of a uh, fine finest tulle and because it's cut in a romantic yet grown-up silhouette holstein doesn't do logos or meme enabled or meme able trends memeable trends sorry but that hasn't stopped the brand from going viral we wouldn't remind it of katie holmes cardigan and cashmere bra oh yeah cool i'll show that in a minute that outfit was super this super super beautiful in so so this is a the pre full collection from this brand called katie which i'm a fan of again i keep mentioning the name katie 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 but it looks beautiful, man. I really love it. Um, I think this is a really cool uh, thing. It, it even made me like Kitten Heels, which I'm, I absolutely hate Kitten Heels for the most part, but they look incredible in this lookbook. So you've got this lady here for the podcast listeners sitting down wearing a red, is it, gonna, is it velvet? Is it suede? Is it, I don't know what it is, shirt, button down. Is that the, maybe the tool button down I mentioned in the article? Maybe it was with some black trousers. Again, most of these lookbooks I like to kind of look at just because you get to steal styling tips and color combinations. Because, you know, I'm horrible at that sort of stuff. So if you're having a bad day and you don't know what to wear and you're kind of blocked, definitely check out uh, a brand that you like. Go through their lookbook or runway collection. You will find some stuff that you might be able to do in your wardrobe. Obviously not the same look exactly because, you know, that brand is the brand. But you'll be able to get some styling tips there. So, yeah, the, some good looks in here overall. I love the shoot. I love the actual photography itself. This amazing white dress is amazing. Film photography on a white background the model's just fairly plain looking a parting you know a, a little middle part in there minimal makeup and just incredible incredible styling on it again these kitten hill things over they are look incredible they look like something your nan would wear but they made she made them look very very modern and very chic i love the cuffs on that blouse there of course they look beautiful and even this as well this little dress i'm sure that's a, that's the teal dress that teal right um very very nice man very very romantic very emotional those sandals look beautiful look at something my uncle would wear but in a very chic way i'm a big fan of everything that's in that's in there um again so very brand new, a lot of uh, phoebe filer for celine influences there which i'm sure she probably took aim from and again like all good brands in it if you're a girl and you're 
quite handy with your pattern cutting or you have a good vision and you like Phoebe Fowler and Celine, why not get into fashion designing? Why not do this for yourself? Do you know what I mean? And put your name on it, on the inside. It must be quite cool. Wake up in the morning, looking into a label of your blouse and seeing your own name there, right? Of your own brand that you're kind of producing now. Yeah, just incredible styling. I loved some of the poses here. Really cool stuff. Um, but obviously the most interesting thing, I think even this outfit there as well with that, the, with like a leather overcoat or a leather jacket blue indigo jeans and a white shirt that's got the kind of you know cuffs popping out from the side from the bottom that's really cool and that's a styling tip you could do for yourself but the most interesting part of it i thought was her instagram profile um it's really cool i love her instagram very very cool it paints a good image of the brand and yeah it's just a very nice instagram profile um i love everything about it aesthetically i love the boxes that she uses here is that a container for bot into office and seeing a new shoe boxes going out which look really cool. I love some of the stuff that she's showing in terms of stuff that she's coming soon with. This little tassel jacket that reminds me of something that Vizum did previously. Um, she looks, and again, like most good brands, the designer of the brand herself looks pretty cool. I think that's her hair, right? Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like everything about it. And the most interesting part about it is this image, which I saw is what made the brand go viral. Is an image here of uh, Katie, what's her name? The girl that used to go out with Tom Cruise. Uh, Katie Holmes wearing this card was it cashmere cardigan and bra set she made a bra that's a cashmere cashmere bra mate you know how flossy that is it's sort of like a boob tube has it got a strap on it yeah it's got a strap down the side it looks absolutely gorgeous like how good does that look on Katie Holmes like chic as fuck isn't it look at that just putting her hand up getting a cab doing her thing and what I wonder what that bag's from the jeans fit perfectly perfect amount of jewelry hair pulled back some nice shades just epic epic style isn't it absolutely love it so yeah, um, check them out if you're that way inclined. If you love a bit of Phoebe Philo and you miss her on the scene, definitely check out what Katie are doing. I love her everything. She met Barack Obama, which is pretty cool. No, she didn't. Someone else met Barack Obama, but they're wearing her outfit, which is great nonetheless. And again, just some great images of the brand itself. That's her there, right? The actual founder of the brand. So yeah, check it out, man. Um, this woman seems really fairly awesome. Three years ago, the label launched. And look at this. She's got a bit of nipple out there as well, which I'm sure has survived the Instagram because there's a little bit of a outfit on top of it that's kind of blocking the nipples which is cool to see but yeah check it out man really really awesome I love everything about this brand and again um, more power to what she's doing there I'm sure she'll be more successful because of my little shout out that I gave her on the podcast <laughs>